Hey guys, Anthony, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about my honest advice for traders in 2024. And if you're new here, I'm Trade Futures. I've been trading for four years almost now. Uh, it took me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain, but over time, I became more consistent. And I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into this one. Uh, real quick though, hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it. Let's me know you like these kind of videos. Number one, pay the time, right? Expect it to take a long time. It's just going to take more time than you want it to take. And it, it's for everyone. It'll always take more time than everyone wants it to take. So I think the best thing is to have realistic expectations. Now, everyone is, is different, obviously, but um, expect to just spend your 10,000 hours on the charts, right? Getting the chart time, uh, doing the back testing, uh, spending that eight to 10 hours on the charts every day for m months and months, uh, one to two years. And if you just have the expectation like, hey, I'm not gonna make any money from this, I'm actually going to lose money doing this for the next two years, that's just the safest thing. You know, everyone, some people get profitable one year, some people it takes five years. You start to think maybe after the first year that you've got it and you should be making money by now and then you start to put on too much risk and you blow your accounts, you blow all of your money and then you, you're forced to stop and forced to give up because you have such a traumatic experience because you've lost all of your money. Uh, I know I've seen, uh, it's terrible, I've seen a, a few people who have lost all of their money, then have gotten loans from credit cards, uh, blew all that money, and then got personal loans from parents or friends and family, and then blew all that money. And now they're in debt to multiple, multiple people and have ruined all of their relationships in their life with close people. And there's like, there's nothing else you can do. That's just the worst possible scenario you could be in. And it's all because, uh, you know, they the person thought that they were profitable sooner than they were. Um, and then took too much risk on, lost it, and then thought that no, no, like they should be profitable, this strategy should work, let's say, and they get loans and it just doesn't work out. So my honest advice right there is to just make sure that you're prepared to pay the time and put that minimum two years. You know, if you put, if you can say four years in your head, then I think you've got a great chance of having real estate expectations and having an amazing life in the future. Um, but just have those, those, standard set for yourself like hey you know what I'm, I'm not gonna make any money for the next two years but i i need to be putting in uh at least that eight hours a day uh, six days a week uh, for a full two-year period uh just chart time back testing uh trading the live markets watching the live markets uh putting on small trades uh, trading prop firms right doing all these things for two years with no expectations of money and actually expecting to lose money so that would be my most important tip as tip number one for my honest advice for traders going into 2024. Second thing is going to be to stop comparing yourselves. So what I mean by, by this is a lot of people, they like to look at someone on Twitter or someone on YouTube and they're, they're posting this huge profit. And, um, you know, you maybe took a loss today and then you see someone else who made money and you think like, oh, I should have made money today too. And there's a few, few ways to go. Number one, you could change your strategy because you think that your strategy is bad because it, it's not making money when you see other people's making money. Um, that's a big thing. I actually suffered with that before because I saw people online making money and there's like, I'm on a losing streak with the strategy and I'm like, oh, this must not be it. Let me, you know, try something else. That's, that's a red flag. So I would not, you just have to stop comparing yourself to others, right? It's like you're, you're comparing your chapter two to someone else's chapter 20. And you name it like, you know, insert popular YouTube trader here and they've been trading far longer than you. So why should you expect to have those same profits? And there could be times when you're making money and they're losing money. So it doesn't make sense. All it is is gonna do is force you into probably risking more or over trading um, or just being indecisive. Indecisive. If you just see all these traders post these profits and you think like, oh, I should be leaving this lifestyle by now or I'm three years in, why aren't I making that guy's money? These are all, it's, it's toxic, it's toxic. So the best thing is to focus on yourself, journal everything and just keep track of all of the data. You know, just where, how you're feeling when you're trading, you know, the, the losing streaks, the, the good trades you place, the bad trades you place, having pictures of everything and just having them all in the database. That's going to be far better than just seeing what other other people are doing and just trying to emulate them. It's, it's not going to work well. The best thing is to formulate your own strategy. Um, you could take things you learned from other people, put them in, but at the end of the day, you're going to be profitable when you're trading your own edge that you put together yourself through your own data, your own testing, and your live trading. And that's going to come through those 10,000 hours and putting in the time from tip number one. 
Third piece of honest advice to traders in 2024 is to focus on prop firms. Use the prop firms. They are low barrier to entry, cheap ways of forcing you to use risk management. And I wish I used them right from the start because again, they force you to manage risk. You have a certain drawdown that you're allowed to use. And if you don't follow it, you lose the account. But if you trade your own personal capital, you could fund an account with 20K and you know blow it up by losing 10K or 20K, right? But if you're forced to learn risk management by trading prop firms, it's gonna set you up far better. And then on top of that, once you do learn, on top of that too, like once you, you, you if you do blow, if you do blow an account, you know, you've lost $100 instead of $10,000. Um, or like as an example, the drawdown is 2,500 for like a $50 account, right? Um, you have to actually lose the account like 20 times to, you know, have that money kind of add up. So. You know, it doesn't make sense to not use prop firms. Again, like I said, they actually force you, in my opinion, to have better habits unless you just start YOLOing it, trying to pass in one trade. But I mean, if you're smart, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna use it to train yourself, to trade live markets. So I mean, it feels like there's some risk because you're using a prop firm account, but you, there's not actually the same amount of risk. So when you do trade them, it'll feel the same as trading your own personal capital, uh, unless you're trading like a massive personal capital account, then it won't feel the same. But if a, if you're trading a small personal capital account compared to a prop firm account, it'll, it'll feel the same while you're in the trade, right? You don't wanna lose the account, but your risk is lower and you're forced to manage risk. So great way, right? And then when you do get it, the second part with this is when you do get it down and you are consistently profitable, um, you can scale up because I mean, with futures trading, you can use 20 prop firm accounts. So, you know, the profit potential is way larger. So use those prop firms and then use that money to fuel your own personal account, right? That's, that's really what you want to do. Because again, let's do some simple math, um, using a trade copier. Um, usually, you know, you could average like two to four K a month on one account. But if you have 20 accounts, you're averaging you know, 40 to 80 K per month. And then take literally half of that and put it in your own trading account. So if you're making 40 K in one month, you take 20 K, put it in your own trading account. You do that for three months. Now you got a 60 K personal trading account and you can make, you know, 10% a month on that. Let's say, right now you're set. Now you're set six K a month. You have your living expenses just set by that in a few months to be, once you've got it down. Right. And then obviously, you know, once you get the account up to 100K and more, then you're making serious money, very serious money, right? So those are my three tips, my honest advice for traders in 2024. Again, it's number one, pay the time, right? Just pay the time, expect to pay a lot of time, two years, three years, four years before making any money. Don't expect to make money right out of the gate or within less than two years. Number two, stop comparing yourself to others. Just focus on your own situation, right? Use those strategies, backtest, build your own strategy, and don't expect it to take only two years because you see someone else that only took two years and don't expect you making a certain amount of money because you see someone else making a certain amount of money. Focus on your own system, your own strategy and your own weaknesses and prove that so that way you can be profitable yourself using your own trading edge. Number three is to start with prop firms and then use that prop firm to fuel it into your own personal account. That's gonna conclude this one. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week helping future traders become consistently profitable. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.